After 807 days on YouTube, Fraser Oliver has been left with nowhere else to turn. No other options. That's right. He must do what every YouTuber dreads. Unfortunately, that is right. Today, we are doing a Reddit video. I am so sorry that it's taken this long. So, what we're going to do though, it's, I'm not doing a normal Reddit video, am I? Because, come on. We're actually going to be looking on r slash muppets. That's right. r slash muppets. So, I didn't know it was a thing. It's not official, but it is the biggest muppet place I could find. It's got 16.7 thousand members, 22 of which are online. We're going to go top of this month, because, you know, then we can see the best stuff so far this month. I had the utmost honour of being able to create replicas of the Electric Mayhem for the actual Electric Mayhem. Thanks for Matt Vogel for contacting me for this amazing project. Peter Linz, Bill Beretta, Dave Rubman, Dave Gollez and Eric Jack Jacobson. So everything you do. That's amazing. That's so cool. So he was actually asked by Matt Vogel, who voices Covet, to make these. Oh, I want one. That's amazing. I want one of them. That me in public. Me in headphones. <laughs> right. Genuinely, this is something that, like, I wish people would know. Is that, like, I genuinely, like, when I'm in my car and, like, music's really loud, I'm like, I'm listening to Muppets. I'm not listening to any, like, like, genuinely, this is me. This actually is me. I made the Muppet Studio out of Lego. Oh, my God. This mix is my two favourite thing. Look at that! This mix is my two favourite things ever. Muppets and Lego into the same thing. That's incredible. I made the Muppet. I love it. And obviously they've used the um, new Muppet Lego figures as um, as inspiration for it. That's so cool. They've got the box. Oh my god. If, if, if Lego made this... I would buy it in an instant. That is so cool. The front panel swings. So what? That must be like. I don't know where that is. It's by the tree. So oh, oh, it's like this one. That's amazing. Yeah, that's incredible. I want it. A Kermit illustration I finished today. Oh, oh, I love the style of that. The the head's a bit scary. I'll be honest, the head's a bit scary. But I love the illustration style. That's so cool. I kind of want that as a poster. Kind of want that as a poster. Uh, should I be up upvoting these? Is that how Reddit works? If I, I don't know. I don't know how Reddit works. Um, probably one of the best days of my life, seeing the Jim Henson exhibit in New York. Oh my god, I want to go. I've seen this everywhere and I really want to go. They've got so much stuff there. and I, I Look at that. That's, that is an early puppet as well. Oh my god, I love that. Um, if you want to see my, I, I talked loads about all of the Kermit puppets. If you do want to watch that, I'll link that up there. Um, my evolution of Kermit stuff. Disney needs to get on this. I never understand why Disney is so focused on live action remakes when they literally own the rights to the Muppets. I would take a Muppet remake of a Disney animation classic over a live action remake all day, every day. I don't know if I agree with that. But I do want more Muppet remakes of things. Uh, Muppet Beauty and the Beast, where the Beast is played by the only human actor and he turns into a Muppet at the end. That would be great. Uh, the Beast should be a conventionally attractive actor who the Muppets tells people can continually call hideous until True Love releases him from the curse and he shows true beauty, blue felt and plastic eyes. That's great. That's really clever. Yeah, no, I, no, I've said this before on the channel. Muppet need Muppets need to start doing parodies. Disney need to use the Muppets more. And with a new rebrand, maybe they will. I know there's loads of projects coming out um, soon. Again, link the video up there uh, where I spoke about those projects. But, you know, they need to start doing more with the Muppets. It's not easy being a Swede, a schmort, a short, a schmort, a schmorgen schmort, a short comic I made. Hurdy gurdy and fluid and hungered. I think I know that. That's a comic. I love that. I didn't understand a word of what he said. This is as usual then. Well, I don't know what happened there exactly, but the show must go on. Oh, is Swedish Chef all upset? Good job tonight, Chef. Want to join us for a few drinks later? Good, good, the floor. I assume that's a no. Suit yourself. Oh, he 
He's got a wife. Good time, Daddy. I'm just ordering Chinese. I thought you wouldn't want to cook again. Oh. I don't like that. I don't know how much longer I can do this, Linda. Huh? I can't keep up this ruined work. It's destroying me. I've become a clown. I just want to be a cook, but I'm trapped by that absurd voice. Oh, honey, maybe you can bring up with Mr. Kermit. I want to, but I th This is weird. Dirty, dirty, I can try to get an increased waiting period. Dish, Murdy, Burgie, assault rifles. Dirty, dirty, flurgy, the kurgy, skurgy. Aww, this is sad. Oh, we got a Zoots talking. Oh. oh, that's cute. That started really nice, got a bit sad, ended really sweetly. Um, I love that. The drawings are really good. I thought I didn't appreciate that. The drawings are very good. Especially the, especially these. I love, I love that. That's really cool. Sometimes you get a, you get on a seven hour road trip and draw the Muppets on the classic 90s VHS <laughs> cover 11. No pleasure mashup title here, just pure vibes. Oh my god. Yes. Although Animal Labu is terrifying. Gonzo is the genie, is great. Obviously, Aladdin, Jasmine, and Piggy and Kermit, that's great. And Swedish Chef is Jafar, I love. Oh, with Camilla as Iago, great. I love this. This is what we're going back to. We need Muppet parodies. And this, look at this. Amazing. Get on it. Giving the Swedish chef his own restaurant. Pizza Rat. That's such a good point. In the Disney parks. Um, Pizza Rizzo. Yeah, why are they not? Why do they not give Swedish chef his own restaurant? I just wanted some broken meatballs. Yeah, that's such a good point, actually. Someday we'll build it. The rainbow can... Look at this. Oh, this is great. Oh, I just love it. I love, I love all the Lego Muppet content we're getting. I love it. I think that's where we leave it for today. If you enjoyed this, please do let me know uh, by liking the video and commenting down below. Also, if I was thinking what we could do as like a follow-up to this sort of thing is trying to get to the top of the Muppet subreddit. So if that's something you think could be fun, where like I create something, build something out of Lego, make something, draw something, film something, I don't know. S put something on there and try and get to the top of the subreddit. If you think that's cool, please do let me know by commenting below. Subscribe if you're new or haven't done so already. If you want to see more Muppety goodness from me, please do click here and watch the bizarre history of Muppets in Hollywood Studios. And with that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another one. Next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.